with regards to what's happening with our brothers and sisters across the world right now, according to what some Palestini uh, people have had in terms of their dreams, it shows that this particular war on them has resemblance with one of the battles of the Prophet which is the Battle of Ahzab, where if you look in Surah Ahzab, in Surah number 33, you'll see that Allah Azza has said many different um, armies came together to crush the Muslims. It wasn't just one army. And the same is going to happen most likely in this particular war. The next thing is Allah said that He helped them through Junood Lam Tarawha. There are, there are armies that Allah sent which they weren't able to see. And these are the army of angels. And we've already had reports that the enemies have found it difficult to fight because they're fighting like ghosts. They said, we don't know what we're fighting. We've had reports of that. And there's a siege that happened in Battle of Ahzab, just like there's a siege right now. To the extent that they were shaken to the core. Zulzilu Zilzan Shadida. And all the Prophet ﷺ could do with the Sahaba in the Battle of Ahzab is to just you know, hide behind rocks. There were storms of arrows coming on them. Just like there are storms of rockets coming on to the to the Muslims and the Palestinians. And subhanAllah al I just want to say that, you know, Allah's Nusra, Allah's help will come. But it's not going to be according to our uh, plan. It's going, to, it's going to be according to the plan of Allah Azza um, There are some dreams that some Palestinians have had. That there's going to be a very specific result of this particular, you know, war that is going on. And bi ibnillah you know, with the help of Allah Azza wa Jal, you know, He's got ways of bringing results out that we can't bring out. Um, and please, to all my brothers and sisters across the world, we want to help our brothers and sisters across the world in every single way we can. You know, every legal means, you know, we can. Uh, but do remember, the more videos that you watch, the more it's going to put you down. Our Prophet ﷺ, he heard of the torches going on in Makkah while he was in Medina. But they weren't watching these tortures. They were hearing of them. Yes, they were praying for them. There's nothing that the Prophet ﷺ could do more for the Muslims that he left behind in Makkah who were getting tortured. But the thing is, watching those videos can put you in a very, you know, specific, um, uh, you know, under specific stress because you're actually observing, you're watching them video after video. You know, yes, you know, collect the news. Have sympathy for our brothers, you know, brothers and sisters. Do your best, whatever you can, to help them. But try and you know lessen the watching of videos because it's really going to put you down. Because you're probably in another country, you can't do anything whatsoever. The Prophet ﷺ was in Medina when the Muslims were getting tortured in Makkah. He couldn't do much about it except make dua for them and except to you know to 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 try and you know, do whatever he could to, for the future of the Muslims. But he wasn't actually, and the Sahaba weren't observing these tortures that were going on. So just bear that in mind, inshallah. And victory of Allah Azza wa Jal, inshallah, will be there. But according to what Allah Azza wa Jal has, has planned, not according to our plan. Always remember that. But we will do our best. And there are a lot of resemblance. Now look, at, look at subhanAllah, you know, some of you are even questioning the, the, the many you know, other leaders that we've got. They're not doing anything. But look at the Battle of Ahzab. Allah talks about a group of munafiqun, you know, they, they were dressed as Muslims. They were praying as Muslims. They were eating with the Muslims. Yet, they let the Muslims down. Okay, they let them down. Um, and Allah talks about them when this, when this whole trial came. What did they do? They, they didn't help them. They were the ones to run away first. They, they give, didn't give, give any support. And Allah Azza wa Jal said, if they were to be asked to join another fight, they would come straight away. But this one, they don't want to join, right? Which is exactly what is happening. And we can see what's happening in the in the world right now. So look, don't, don't put your reliance on people who are not there for the Muslims. You know, Allah has this, look, just read Surah Azab, read Surah Azab and see what Allah has said. There's so many, there's so much resemblance in what's going on. May Allah Azza wa Jal bless us and bless all the Muslims and help all the Muslims across the world, especially those that are going through, you know, who are the victims of war and going through torture. Uh, I mean, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.